Hi everyone. After a month of silence, the test server finally got an update yesterday. Although they didn't publish any official patch notes for this update, so I will show you what I managed to find in this video. The event section is now available. You can get lots of star stones and tokens by logging in daily. In the customize section, they added a random and a filter option. You can enable the random option to use random in-game effects during matches. It will randomly equip one of the owned special effects. You can use the filter option to select your desired effects. They have also added a resource quality section for the effects. This filters the effects based on their quality. Currently, there are four quality tiers available. Rare, Uncommon, Epic, and Legendary. The sword. They have added full voiceover to the new hero, Luara. Born of the earth, rooted among the trees. From flames, I emerge to light up the world! Her skill descriptions are now available. They've also added skill sound effects for her abilities in the game. With these additions, she seems pretty much complete in my opinion, and they might release her next month. Additionally, they have likely made some final balance adjustments and bug fixes to ensure she is ready for release. Lady Jen's rework is now applied in the test server, so it might come soon to the global server. Her first skill has been reworked, allowing her to summon an icicle. While this skill still knocks up enemies like before, the addition of the icicle brings new mechanics. The icicle remains on the ground for 8 seconds, blocking enemies' movement and slowing them down. But here's the interesting part. If you cast the skill near Lady Jen's position, she will enter the icicle and become invincible for 3 seconds. She cannot be targeted by enemies while inside the icicle. When the icicle disappears or you cancel the skill, it will deal burst damage and slow down nearby targets. You can also combine her second skill with the icicles to trigger additional skill damage. It's like a better version of Splendor's active skill, because her first skill has a 5 second cooldown. While on the other hand, Splendor's active skill has a longer 90 second cooldown. With her first skill, she can stay immune for 3 seconds, whereas Splendor's immunity lasts only 1.5 seconds. The only downside is that the first skill has a short delay before entering the icicle, while Splendor can make you immune instantly. In my opinion, this rework grants Lady Jen much needed protection. She can quickly use her first skill to become invincible for a short duration, potentially saving her from enemy assassins or fighters. Since the icicle itself cannot be targeted, it provides protection for Lady Jen. Overall, it's a simple but effective rework that addresses her vulnerability. In the controls settings, there's a new basic attack target selection option available. With this option, you can control your basic attacks more precisely. This is a very Those useful feature, nothing, and will benefit marksman players a lot. The tower attack indicator has been improved. It now highlights the attacking target more clearly. Other players' avatars are now hidden when you get matched in ranked games. It will only show the avatars when you press confirm, so no more dodging the Chinese flag. You can now sort your heroes in the band pick menu. There are options to sort by hero name, proficiency, 
hero power, most often used, and most often banned heroes. This will make it easier to select or ban heroes efficiently. It's our turn to pick heroes. They have also added a new animation upon entering the loading screen, which highlights the country flag of the players. There's a new button added beside heroes' names. If you press it, it will announce the hero's name. However, it currently uses the old voice lines and sounds a bit weird. Judge D. Otis. Perhaps you'd understand me better. Arlie. You came to what? Musashi. Solaris. If the so Mulan. I'm a Mulan. They have added a new advanced exchange option in the fragment shop section. This section offers higher quality skins compared to the normal exchange shop. However, you need advanced skin fragments to claim these skins. Weekly cards can be purchased with real money to obtain these fragments. It's currently unclear if we can earn advanced fragments for free, so we'll have to wait for future updates. Lastly, the draw section has been moved to a new location. You can access it from here or from the main menu. I don't need crit. And that's it for the test server update. Let me know which part of the update you like the most in the comments section below. That's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. And as always, thank you for watching. Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah. Appreciate it. Try all you want. You can't victory. victory.